I'm Van. I'm sorry. That's Lobby. It's salty and chip. <laughs> Amphetamine, great little filth. Th this song was asked for, like, since we did her Ghost in the Fog. <laughs> like, that far back. Aw. I was like, oh, we're Shaw. coming around to it. Shaw, Shaw, <laughs> Shaw. This is... <clears throat> well, we both just crawled out of bed. Vin, uh, Vin changed his shirt. I'm yeah. still wearing... I was sleeping in his FBI shirt. <laughs> what? Quiet. <I'm> quiet. Ah... <laughs> uh, <laughs> So this is, <laughs> shout out to, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I can, <laughs> there's so many things there's I can so say. so many things. But we won't. We can't. We shan't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is Cradle of Phil. Sometimes I find things. That is just beyond hilarious. I'm like, Vin, come back in this room. Look at yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. But then I felt like the gods were against me because I couldn't figure out how to rewind. It wasn't I'm gonna, rewinding. It was I'm going to put out this meat in the midst of these wolves. Yep. And if any of you wolves <laughs> deign, <laughs> die, <laughs> I'm going to find you. <laughs> so help you. <laughs> So help you. So help me God. <laughs> that I don't believe in, apparently. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Nymphetamine cradle of filth. Yep. Filth. Go. Go. <laughs>
was really pretty. <clears throat> <clears throat> kind of makes sense why everybody was requesting this after yeah. uh -huh. her Ghost in the Fog. Yeah. Interesting oh. song. What do you mean? Like, for what the lyrics are talking about? Well, it's it's two people, you know, who love each other and all that good stuff. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yep. it makes sense. <clears throat> do, is Lindsay in this one? <sighs> uh, no. This is 2004. Schoolcraft wasn't with them then. Okay. Um... This, I really liked it. I really liked the vocals. Um, well, I'll save that for when I, when I rate it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I really liked it. What did, what did you think? Did you like it? It was good. Yes? It was good. Oh, but not like... It was really pretty. Yeah, it was pretty. Watch all. Uh, okay, so I got that it was about two people. Yeah. But uh, there was a lot of it like I didn't... Well, it's Danny Filth's amazing writing style once again. <laughs> um, it's about two people and, and how their sexuality works with each other. Okay. I, I could always find the right slot for your sacred Yeah, I mean, that one, that one you, I understood. You figured that like, one out. That's cool, I like that. Ours. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what was the six feet thing? One. Well, there's... there's them, how they relate, sexuality, and then death. Of course, it's Cradle of Filth, so they gotta they gotta put some death Six in this. Six feet deep in the in is the, is the incision in my heart. That barless prison. So that could be a very very um, poetic way of saying that he's dead inside, but that encounters with her makes him feel alive. Ooh, you know. <laughs> This lust is vampiric addiction. You know how like a vampire gains yeah. his power and strength from mm -hmm. from you know to her alone and feeding on another person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yep. so her her that's the effect that he she has on him. Like being mm -hmm. I think people use sexuality that way, like mm -hmm. it fulfills some some emptiness that they have inside of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. What? No, I think it's true. I think that, um, especially, like, I think it's easiest to see when you think about, like, pornography or, you know, like a, a one-night stand sort of situation and stuff like that. But it can even it can even enter marriages and stuff like that, like, how you use your sex, sexuality. If you're not, if it's not about, like, meeting the other person, you know what I mean, and connecting with them and stuff like that, um, then it can become just, like, a one-sided sort of... This. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely mutuality in this song. Yeah, I thought so too. But the 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 <laughs> the, the, the male character is definitely um, cold was my soul and told yeah, the pain. Part. I faced when you left me a rose in the rain. So, so I swore, swore to, to the, the razor. razor. That's a good line. Yeah. That's a very good line. Yeah. That's why I highlighted this part. That yeah. never enchained would your dark nails of faith be pushed through my veins again. Okay, so I don't know if he's going to like cut with the razor or if he's saying I'm not going to do that. Well, he's saying that he's she left him apparently. Yeah. So he he swore that he would he would never allow him into her into his heart again basically. What? What why did he say the razor? Is he's calling her a razor? Well, no, he's saying I swore to the razor basically. It's a Danny Filth brilliant way of saying he would he would rather kill himself before he would allow her to get that close to him again. Your dark nails of fate be pushed through my veins again. Woo. Yeah, he can write, man. Mm -hmm. He can write. You know, it's like there's Danny Filth and then yep. there's other there's other people. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, he does have a really He's the best. He's the best. Bard on your tomb, I'm a prayer for your loneliness. Bared on your tomb. Bared on your tomb. Oh, is this written on your tomb? That's, that's one, that's one R. <laughs> that's written one R. Bared on your tomb, I'm a prayer for your loneliness. And would you ever soon come above unto me? So he so, died? So. Maybe he killed himself. No. Well then why is she bared on his tomb? On your tomb. Right. She's singing now. Oh, she was singing at that point? on your tomb. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a prayer for your loneliness. What What did you get from that line? You seem to very... You, you. No, I just thought it was really cool. I'm a prayer for your loneliness. Like, I, I didn't, like... 
I, I don't know why, but I pictured like there was like a tombstone and then somebody was like slumped onto the tombstone, like just like a prayer, but they were lonely. And so then it says, will you, for your and would you ever soon come above unto me? Like come back from the grave, like to me. But I like, I guess miss understood. Well, no, I, no, I, I, how, how are you misunderstanding? I think you're right. But in that situation, he's dead. Yeah. 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 So what are you misunderstanding? So she's saying, so she changed her mind now. And yeah, she does it. He with left. Him. She left him. He swore to the razor. I guess he killed himself. And then she goes back, and she's buried on his tomb. Okay, so that's how he was gonna make sure that she didn't, that he never let her back in. He was just gonna kill himself. Right. Because he knew he couldn't. Right. Well, this is cradle of filth, so maybe he comes back as a ghost, and they have, you know, astro sex. A astral <laughs> sex, and whatever. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Nope. Those are demons. <laughs> we don't recommend that. <laughs> Guarantee you get to me. How dare you? My astral part is a very nice person. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> We're Christians. Those yeah. are demons. Okay. <laughs> Back to your regular schedule program already in progress. Uh, yeah. So it looks like at this point in the story, he's dead. Yeah. She goes to his tomb. She's obviously changed her mind about him. Um, I'm a prayer for your loneliness. Maybe she, he's she's the answer to your to the prayer for his because of his loneliness. <clears throat> and would you ever soon come above unto me? So he's in the underworld. Yeah. He's in Sheol. Yeah. So he's in the underworld. She's asking if he's going to come above. For once upon a time, from the binds of your loneliness, I could always find the right slot for your sacred key. <clears throat> Why? Well, just the way that she words it, like, she could have said some, like, gross way, but just saying, like, basically she's saying there was there was times where he was bound in so much loneliness, but then but when you're bound, you need a key to unlock it, and then that was, like, the way to unlock his loneliness was sexually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a, it, it's a, yeah, a lot of things you can do with, with that. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, that... What do you mean? Well, apparently it wasn't enough to keep him alive. No. See, that's the thing. It's like, it's this ode to the uh, the wonders of, of uh, the cure-all that sexuality is, but the guy's dead. Yeah, I know, so, but she left him, so he so, wasn't getting that cure-all. Okay, well then... Obviously, it didn't, it didn't cure. No, I don't right. think that that's a cure all. I'm just. Yes, saying. you do. I do not think it's a cure all, but you I do think it comes in a lot of situations. You absolutely do. I don't think do. it's a cure all, you babe. You absolutely do. You're such a liar. <laughs> look, look, look. I don't think it's a cure all, but I do think that it does cure a lot of situations. And you have to look, admit. I don't think it's a cure all. I think it's a cure all. A I lot. cure a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, I do think it cures a lot. Yeah, I don't think it's a cure all. There's a difference. It does cure a lot. Would you say it doesn't cure a lot for you? Be honest. If you're gonna open this can of worms, I'm not opening any can of worms. I I, I don't think it cures. You should be honest I, with the people. I, I think it creates more issues than it cures. Let's say that. In the world, or in <laughs> different relationships. Well, yeah, in different relationships. You can't take our relationship as a standard. You yeah, think well, you can take our relationship as like everybody else's no, relationship? I don't think so. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't think so. Believe you but me. But I'm talking about us. Don't, most times we're talking about us, our relationship. It's a big cure-all for you. It cures all, all your... No, elements. it doesn't cure all for me, but it cures a lot. And it cures I, a lot I, for I, I've never seen you not be cured. I feel happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've been walking around like, why is she so... Oh, oh that's right. That's right. Oh, well, then I should just put myself in a bad mood then. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. I can't believe we're having this discussion. <laughs> Six feet deep is the incision in my heart, that barless prison. Discolors all with tunnel vision, sun-centered. Ah. So he... Yeah, I so think... So he's talking he to the died. He, Yeah, he's dead. He died. Wow. Okay, remember how we were t he was talking about the razor before? Right. Now he's saying six feet deep is the incision. Right. So he's six feet under, but he's talking about the incision. It went so deep, like, it put him in the ground. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, that's sad. In my heart, that barless prison discolors all with tunnel vision. Well, I don't know if, what he's talking about, but, like, for me, that sounds like his heart 
remember she was able to get into his heart before? Right. But now she's not there to get into it. So now everything is discolored by his tunnel vision. But it's a barless prison. I mean, he's locked into it. Yeah. And he doesn't have to be. Yeah. There's no bars there, but he, he's locked in it because of his fear. Yeah. Fear. So that's the thing. It's like, you know, people have been hurt in relationships. And so, like, they say, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna always protect myself from, yeah. you know. and what's that happening it's a, it's a, yeah it's like it's like a borrowed prison it's like okay great now 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 you will you just guaranteed that you you will now never find love you know you can't you know it's it's a or you can't live life just normally like i always find like the fears from my past like creeping into yeah. my present and then like i can't live in like a normal day sometimes like i'm like what if this happens what if that happens and, so I start getting fearful, and then yeah. I'm looking over my shoulder constantly, and that's no way to live. I don't think you look over your shoulder constantly. You don't know what's in my head, but what I mean by look over my shoulder is different than probably what you're thinking. Well, what are you? What are you? I am using that language on purpose. I still don't get it. Will you whisper it to me. Why? I'm checking up on me. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yes. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have so many problems. Okay. You're one of them. <laughs> I seem to be the biggest one. I always get these people. Forget him, sorry. Be with me. I, I just had this, this. You would return me in less than a week. This girl, this girl posted this thing. She's like, no disrespect, but come over to our side, sorry. It was a lesbian. Oh. Yeah. Because we, we watched all that orange, all those episodes of Orange. Now they think oh. that uh, she thinks she has a shot. Honestly, <clears throat> before Orange started, I thought I could kind of like possibly swing that direction. I'm so grossed out from watching so much eating out of pussy, I just, uh, I could just be ill. I, I can't even. Every time they start, you know, I'm like, no, please, not again. <laughs> this again. Please, ladies, can't you just read a book together? <laughs> well, we're in, we're in season five, so it's like, okay, I get it. And like, we watch like a lot of them sometimes, back to back. So it's just, it, maybe it's just like <laughs> once a week. I don't know, it's just too much. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, another, like... It's just a disgusting situation because they're in prison, you know? It's not, know. A, it's not a... And then, like, any time that they're heading toward the bathroom and everybody's getting out of the shower, so I'm like, Ugh. I don't think... See, if I was, a, if I was like, a lesbian or in the LGBT community, I'd be like, is there any... Are there any of those relationships that actually, like, last in the show? Like, I'm trying to rack my brain here. There's one of them that's, like, on and off consistently like they hate each other and they love each other but it's very unhealthy yeah the whole of them are all it's healthy. not a very good presentation the only one it's not a very good like... presentation of uh of uh, lgbt relationships at all. no it's not you're right it's always like a husband uh, you know the, the boyfriend broke up with them so they this is the fallback you know right. there's two or three of them that are like that right and then it's just like uh eh, you know true. that's terrible yeah it's the, the, you know but then it's in prison it's like maybe it's not meant to be a, a display of you know, lesbian relationship. They're in jail. It's a necessity. It's some. To some. I don't know. <laughs> we're 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 digressing. Here. I was just thinking that. <laughs> okay. Um, this lust is vampiric addiction to her alone and full submission. So I I think his ghost is uh looking back. But <clears throat> racked with your charm, I'm circled like prey back in the forest where whispers persuade. More sugar trails. More white lady laid than pillars of salt keeping Sodom at night at bay. Interesting! Yeah, I mean... Well, so... Lot's wife looked back and turned into a pillar of salt. Remember that? Like, because yeah. he talks about Sodom. She shouldn't have looked back. So maybe Should've kept it's going in forward. a reference to looking back. Keeping Sodom at night at bay. Right. More white lady laid than pillars of salt. I, but this was Dan, Danny Filter saying this part. It was weird because he this was, was the part that was part, going not, back and forth in your ears. Ding, 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 ding. He was saying the part, not her. I couldn't tell who was doing it. So he was racked with her charm, circled like prey. They used to meet in the forest, I guess. 
fall to my ar arms, hold their mesmeric sway, and dance out to the moon as we did in those golden days. The moon as we did? So are they meeting? Like, is, is she meeting his spirit? Can you scroll back up, babe? You know what I mean? Well, there's there's no part I'm where... I'm like, pray back in the forest where whispers persuade. Maybe, maybe he's, this is his ghost now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And they're meeting like that. Uh, okay, so let's go with that theory. So when he says, racked with your charm, I'm circled like prey, maybe he back in the forest. Because this is all, um, this is all present tense, mm -hmm. right? Because um, above, she says, for once upon a time. That's past tense. Yeah. So now, maybe his ghost came back, mm -hmm. and he's looking at her, and he's not looking back to keep Sodom at night at bay. Maybe that's like his his holding place. He says, fold to my arms, hold their mesmeric sway. So I don't know if he's saying like... No, she's saying that. She's saying that? Fold yeah. to my arms? Yeah. So... So is she saying like, come... And come into like, his arms and dance out to they can't like really like connect, you know what I mean? Like, so is she... As we did in those golden days. Right. So I she's... So he's back. Yep. Christening stars, I remember the way we were needle and spoon. That's another one. Uh, christening stars, that's a good one. You know how you name stars? I want to name this star and yeah. name that star. So they were like under the... Uh, yeah, the yeah. stars naming them all. Like yeah. They owned them all. Yeah. Like, we were needle and spoon, which is weird because there's like mislaid in the burning hay. So when you think of a needle and a haystack, they were lost. Right, they were lost. But then they were spooning also, I'm guessing. Needle. Yeah. And spoon. Oh, yeah. Key, slot, needle, spoon. Yeah, I know, spoon. but needle and spoon is just weird. Key, slot makes sense. Needle, needle spoon. Uh, uh. I, I, I'm thinking of it, actually, believe it or not, I'm thinking of it less sexual than you are. I'm picturing them, they were in, um, like, just like laying in the hay, like spooning, and they were like a needle in a haystack. They were just lost in that, like the simplicity of that. like. A needle and a spoon. Where the fuck is the hole to put the needle in? It doesn't even make any sense. All right. Uh, next, next thing. <laughs> uh, and then it goes back to buried in the hay and all the rest of it. So there you are. So it's it's a it's a love story. Yeah. But it's uh, you know the 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 mean M I N E is a suffix for some sort of drug. Oh. Right. So caffeine, you know, all that jazz. So. I think that there is. Methamphetamine. I think that like good relationships should have like an element of feeling like the person is a drug. Well, yeah. I mean, and I don't think that everybody gets that. We've talked about that before. I don't think that everybody experiences that in their lives. Yeah. Yeah. What? You do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now getting red. Fast forward. Keep going. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I think I agree with that. Well, I think it's designed that way. I mean, there's, you know, there's, we talk about this, it's the endorphin rush and all that good jazz. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's very, very interesting because if you just look at these guys, you're like, ah, it's darkness, it's satanic, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But there, there is enough lyrically to where, you know, it's like real deep love. Like you can clearly see that these people love each other, and yeah, there's a lot of sexuality involved, but it's not gross, nasty. Mm -hmm. You know, what? It's just so interesting to me how people's perception of things can can because it seems like he's very, very close to what we would say that God's intention for sexuality is. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you, there would be a lot of Christians that would be on the outside looking in and oh, nymphetamine, oh. You know, because mm -hmm. it's a it's a prefix nymph has to do with sexuality. Yeah. And so he, he's combining those those two words, and it would seem like, you know, you would assume until you actually listen to what they're saying, that he has a very very high view of sexuality mm -hmm. and a, and a, and, a, and also a, a high love. Also, well, no, I think it's a high view of love. No, I too. think I I would assume. I thought you said we would assume. So you would assume that by the title, it was going to be a high view of sex, a low view of love. But when it started and we went through it, it was a high view of both. Well, actually, I, I would higher for I, love. It seemed like. I, well, what? I think the assumption would be you would say, oh, this is a goth metal band or whatever genre metal they're in. 
Mm -hmm. Um, And so you would assume that when these guys start handling sex, it would just be this stupid whatever. But at some level, there's there's some monogamy here because it's only two people. Mm-hmm. It's love and death and how that works and how that relates and how deeply mm-hmm. somebody loves somebody. I mean, at, at this level, you'd almost say he loves her too much because apparently he kills himself and she's yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's just, you know, it, it's just, that's why you have to actually stop and listen to what people are saying. Mm-hmm. You know, because this guy, lyrically in this song, seems to have an extremely high view of love and sexuality. That, yep. And he handled it in a very tasteful way. Did you notice at the beginning, like, I think it's the dead version of him talking. Lead to the river, midsummer I waved, a V of black swans, on with hope to the grave. All through red summer with skies, fire paved, red I begged... What did I say? All right, anyway. With skies, fire paved, I begged you appear like a thorn for the holy ones. So, who was talking at that point? That's the girl. So, do you think that she was, like, she was walking out, like... Heading toward the forest, yeah, where he hoping was to see him, yeah. So he was already gone by this point. Yeah, yeah, interesting, huh? Okay. All through red September. It's That's a good line. pretty. I'm telling you, literally, you, you I know. can't fuck with Danny Phil. No, you can't. You can't fuck with Danny Phil. What'd you give the song? Um, I gave it a nine because. And I, I actually probably would up it to like a nine point eight. I really liked it. It just, you know what? I really, I would, I. And I think maybe that this is wrong to do this, but it needed that floor height to it. Like you know, how she just brings it to like some crazy vocal level. Yeah. Like it needed that, yeah. and I was and I like felt like that that was missing from the song. So I have to dock it for that. But it was really good. I really liked it. What do you give it? Well, the musicianship never got that dramatic for her to go there. Well, do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Floor. I needed some of that. The one song we've heard of Floor, the musicianship was extremely dramatic. <laughs> yeah, I just mean like it needed to have some part where she went really up with her vocals, like in a desperate high. Yeah, I agree. It was kind of like this. It, it, it got a 7.8 for me because mm-hmm. I like the melodies and such, but it just never like went anywhere. Like mm-hmm. it just kind of, ugh. Yeah. Just, ugh. Yeah. And then like... And then toward the end, there was like a solo, and I really liked the solo. I'm like, her Ghost in the Fog had featured a, a really strong guitar presence. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, there's there's synth and stuff, and that's great. But at the end of the day, it's still rock and roll. Like, I want to hear some... Yeah. I want to hear that guitar. Yeah. Know? So... I liked it. And I think the guitar, if it would have had the opportunity to get elevated, it would have elevated the vocal. Mm-hmm. So, 7.8 for me. 9.8. I really liked it. 9.8? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> why did I, why did I, of course, obviously you're going to give a song like this high. Vin out. Three out. Gone. Gone.